Coach, uh, I guess uh, obviously the, the hope is that you always get back to this point. You're always playing this time of year. Just what does it feel like to, to be back for a second year in a row? Well, it's always your goal to be down, heading down to state. It used to be a Final Four, now it's just a championship game. But uh, this year is particularly exciting in that we uh, took a little longer to figure out who we were and what we needed to do to win, but the guys stuck with it and were able to really string together some wins here and play a great brand of soccer. Now, upsetting two number, or one, number one and two ranked teams kind of has to give the guys a confidence boost. You know, it, it was huge for these guys. They, they really believe in what they're doing right now, and they know that uh, we had some things to learn through the season, and they feel like they learned their lessons and they're ready to roll. Nine and six during the regular season, certainly not a bad mark by any means, but you go 18 and one a year ago. But since the postseason started, it's been all business. What what was that change? What were the lessons that this Well, season? there were several things that occurred over the course of the season. Um, from opening day, that shellacking we took with Lures, we uh, had actually two field players still playing in the same positions when, the day we started the tournament. So it was a complete change of system, complete change of personnel. Not necessarily different guys, but different spots. and. Uh, they learned how to uh, they learned how to win, and uh, it's been been a process. And I'm proud of them. A lot of teams would have folded with six losses, and these guys never did. Now last year it seemed like the guys had a big team chemistry mm -hmm. you know, going, and they had kind of a slogan. I remember during that. Season yes, run. they did. Is there anything like that this year? Is there a slogan? No, there's no slogan. Uh, matter of fact, when we gave up that first goal against Manchester, the students started chance, chanting "All wins, one goal." So it was uh, <laughs> kind of funny, but. These guys still have very good chemistry, very good chemistry. And you have to to absorb six, six losses. Um, and they're not used to losing six times in a season. So uh, they've hung together and they've worked hard at improving. And uh, their, the chemistry and all that has been, been, been very good. Three goals against in six playoff games. Uh, it's a fantastic number. What's, what's been the secret behind that? The guys are working very hard defensively. Uh, when teams try to work the ball through our midfield, we've got five guys swarming around in there, just applying as much pressure as we can to every pass. And every time they touch the ball, we're trying to get their heads down and get them to make a bad pass. And so far, we've been able to do that. Ritz obviously had a, a fantastic season for you guys. And if I did the math correctly, I think it's nine goals since the postseason started for him. You know, that could be. I haven't added that part of it up. I know he's tied the school record for most goals in a season, and he's broken the single season mark for assists. And we've never had a 2020 guy before, so it's a pretty spectacular year. And uh, Britt's another young man who's developed a lot over the, over the last year, and he's really put it together for us all season long. He's never had more than three in one game. And that was against Columbus North, who's in the state championship in the 2A. So, I mean, it didn't come against a slouch team. I know obviously the emphasis is uh, is team success and, and the teamwork at this point, but can you just comment? I know Britt received a National Player of the Week honor. Can you just comment on what, what that means for him in this program? Well, I've, I'm not sure how you describe that. It was really amazing. He had a tremendous regional camp, regional week. And I knew that award was out there, so I just took a flyer and nominated him. And uh, he won the won the vote, and I well deserved. And boy, it's pretty neat to see his picture on that page. That's for sure. Can you talk a little bit about the seniors and the legacy that they're going to leave on Canterbury soccer, especially getting to the state two years in a row? Really, it's a legacy that they're very proud of. Not just this team or last year's team. They talk about the four championships that have gone before them. They're very proud of that. They're very proud of the fact that there's been 13 trips to the final four. And they want to leave their mark. And, and they've said, you know, there's been a lot of good teams, but to be a great team, you got to win a state championship. And they want to be on that list.